This is a region that is prone to droughts and is the most semi-arid region in the country. It is also characterized by civil strife, as uh, you have all heard and indeed know, which uh, actually makes implementation a challenge. Despite those conditions, however, we have tried to implement the project as best we can, and we are getting to the end of the project. Today, we can say we've successfully concluded it. We have learned this part of insecurity. There has been infiltration of guns from Ethiopia, South Sudan, and Kenya to our neighbor in Karamojo. Our people from the border here, not the other raid that used to be in the 80s and water view. Now what they are doing now is these are thieves. But these thieves here, the Karamojo warriors here, they are carrying guns. So I'm reminding you, a person in that, 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 that sector, that's your docket. Share with your colleagues, these other people here, must be, they continue, there must be continuous disarmament to stop them from disturbing our people. Government brought a very good program, resettling people of back at the border, people have gone. And therefore, they must not be disturbed, so that they establish and they fight poverty, try to get the money and send their children to school. That one will be better. Well, uh, animal protein is becoming a, 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 a very high demanding commodity. And with uh, our neighbors who are really having uh, unstable areas, we have to be on the lookout. In most of these facilities, where we have put there is a presence of security. So nobody can come to raid animals because when we put facility there, the livestock farmers normally congregate around that area. So we provide security for, for those areas. And uh, we are going also uh, to increase dialogue because this, is, this program is running in Kenya, in Somali, in, in, in Ethiopia. Fortunately enough, Uganda has performed the best in this program.